Good afternoon. This is my kitchen. That was bad. <clears throat> Hello, and welcome to Nate Cooper's cooking show. Now, obviously, Timothy isn't here because he ran away to Duke. He will be replaced by none other than Sherlock Holmes. Not the Benedict Cumberbatch, I'm sorry. He's the uh, old Sherlock Holmes with the uh, actual microscope and the deer stalker hat thing and whatever this is. Our first comment was cake. So I present you with cake. Actually, I'm joking. That's not the kind of cake we're going to make. We're going to get out the Mickey's cookbook. So I used to make all kinds of cakes from right here in this handy dandy cookbook. <clears throat> Pancakes and eggs, we are not looking for you! It was in here! I promise! Here it is! Bake a cake on uh, this side right here. So, shall we begin? First few things we need this stuff butter flavored, sifted cake flour. We, of course, do not have cake flour. Who has cake flour? But everyone has all purpose flour, don't they? Okay. Next, baking powder. <laughs> it's right here. Salt. Actually, just about everything is right in here, so it's, it's really not that interesting. Sugar. Eggs. Eggs, butter or margarine, we no, and at last we find the salted butter, next on the list is milk, put it on top of the sugar here, and finally, vanilla extract, but nobody has that either, so imitation vanilla flavor. Uh, that's all we need. Now, for this video, we will not be using the numbers. I'm just gonna stick handfuls of stuff in this bowl, and we'll see where it goes from there. First, preheat oven. 350 stuff. Grease two nine inch. Round pans. These seem like nine inch pans. It's a little sticky. Mix flour, baking powder, salt, and sugar together, then sift them into a bowl. This bowl. Flour. One cup. Sift, 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 sift. This is me uh, sifting. Uh, how many cups? Uh, that should be two. And when I said we're not paying attention to num numbers, I didn't really mean that literally. We're still going to pay attention to the numbers. We're just not going to use actual measuring cups. Get off! Baking powder. I got flour on my tie. See that? It's flour. You can't see it, can you? Four teaspoons. That's uh, that, that, the uh, that. It's good. Salt. How much salt? Half a teaspoon. Should be about. More than enough. Much, much more than enough. Sugar. One and a fourth cup, that's about... That's pretty measly. I'd say that's half. And another half. Alright, that is all of the dry ingredients. 
And because we're not using any other tools other than bowls and stuff, we're going to use my hands as a sifter. So, mixing together. Mixing! Mixing! Beautiful, isn't it? By the time I'm done with this, half a cake is going to be on my hands. Next, break eggs into a large bowl. A very large bowl. This is not a large bowl. This is a large bowl. Eggs! And because we don't listen to instructions, we're going to use three eggs instead of... And because we're so bloody healthy! Oh, well we got some uh, you know, crunchiness in there. Why is this taking so long?! We're gonna keep the eggshell in there. Have the butter it's supposed to be softened. Be a little bit disgusting right now. Oh, I wasn't supposed to do that. Three fourths of a cup. Eight tablespoons. Okay. And because I'm an idiot, I decided to put the eggs in first and not melt the butter in here, although that would cause quite the reaction because of the metal bowl. So don't do that at home. Or at work. Or in a pants factory. Nowhere. Don't do that anywhere. Wait! We aren't paying attention to directions. This will do. Wait, we're not paying attention to the directions. This will do. I'm sure it will be fine. We just break it up into little pieces. <laughs> this is the part of the video in which I started mixing. It took an incredibly long time, so I sped it up for you. You're welcome. I've compiled most of the interesting parts from this segment into another video, which I will be posting on a later date. You're welcome again. Now, back to the cooking. Stir the flour mixture, which is this. Give it a bit of samba. There we go. Alright, and instead of, once again, beating it with mixers like normal people, because I'm doing a video, this is going to happen. And this is the point in the video in which I started mixing again. And then my family walked in. So, because I'm fairly insecure about making videos still, I shut the video off, stopped cooking, and restarted again later. Okay, that was the last time I was going to do that to you. I promise. Maybe. Oh, look, I'm back. I'm sorry. I lied a little bit. Only half lied, really. Okay, there's me showing you the stuff. It's really lumpy, in case you couldn't tell. Uh, there I am, pouring the stuff into the pans. So interesting. There's Sherlock shaking his head. No. There's me, being a little bit unhappy, still not talking because I'm still insecure, still lumpy, even more unhappy. This is going to be awful. And there is me putting the cakes in the oven for their baking process. So, here I am, back upstairs, after a horrendous session of making a cake. It was bad. It was bad. If you didn't see the consistency before, perhaps you would better be able to understand how bad that cake really was. But! It tastes good. It tastes different. It's not bad, really. It wasn't a complete failure. The moral of this story is don't bake a cake with just your hands. 
don't do it. Okay, so I'm gonna be fairly honest with you. This cake, it turned out more to resemble a sort of creme brulee looking thing. Haven't tasted it yet, but I'm sure it will be something. Who knows what? But it's still quite hot. So, I'm gonna let it cool for a little bit. To give a fairly detailed uh, description, when it first came out of the oven, there was a liquid boiling on the sides. Um, but, but the middle was fairly, uh, not at all cake-like, but it was substantial. It was something. It was solid, per se. So it seems as though that liquid, which was once boiling, has seeped back into the cake. So those are the cakes. Well, this was fun. This was a... We don't have a name for it. Comments, do it. I will leave the title blank just for you. I will pick out the very best title selection in the comments. I'll do something somehow, and it'll be fun. It'll be great. I will uh, see you guys later. Do 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 do. Do 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 ba da do 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 do